Hi everyone and welcome back to the Indulgent Kitchen. I'm Courtney here with another awesome healthy recipe for you. So today we're going to be making a fabulous recipe, mac and cheese. However, it is not with a pasta. A lot of you are trying to get rid of the pasta in your big quest to fight the battle of the bulge. So this time we're going to use this beautiful, wonderful vegetable. It's one of my favorite vegetables and this is spaghetti squash. So awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this open and then start talking about our ingredients to make this awesome no pasta spaghetti squash mac and cheese. Okay, so for our ingredients for this no pasta mac and cheese, we need a spaghetti squash that's cut in half and all the seeds and pulp have been scooped out and cut that out as best you can. Spaghetti squash is kind of hard to cut, so you can use a hammer or a cleaver or whatever tool you have. We will also need two tablespoons of butter two tablespoons of flour or gluten-free flour. You'll need several cheeses. You will need, uh, this is two ounces of Velveeta. And then we have a uh, fourth cup of Colby, a fourth cup of pepper jack, and a fourth cup of um, shredded uh, sharp cheddar cheese. You need one egg that's already whisked. And you'll need several spices. You're going to need one teaspoon of cumin, uh, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper, and over here we have um, one teaspoon of garlic powder. You also need some olive oil for drizzling, some extra pepper and seasoned salt for sprinkling. And last but not least, you will need um, some milk, a half cup of milk, and I will get the milk a little later. But let's start with roasting our spaghetti squash. Oh, by the way, you're also going to need um, a one half cup of extra shredded cheddar cheese uh, for topping this mac and cheese. Okay, so we're going to start by um, roasting our spaghetti squash first so that the spaghetti, uh, quote unquote spaghetti, uh, pieces can actually come out of the squash. So we're going to spray a foiled tray with cooking spray. Put your spaghetti squash over. You're gonna drizzle a little bit with olive oil each one. Use your fingers to kind of spread it around. Okay. Then you're gonna take and sprinkle lightly with a little seasoned salt, a little pepper. Then you're going to flip these over, like so. Your oven has been preheated to 400 degrees. If not, then go ahead and um, do that. So 400 degrees right here. Pop that in. And you're going to set the timer for about 30 to 35 minutes. And after that, you start making uh, the cheese sauce after 32 minutes. Get on the oven, don't shoot my ass, goodness. Stop! <laughs> okay. Okay, so the timer just went off. Here we go. It's done. And it is hot, so what you want to do is still have your oven mitts on and you want to flip it over and the way you can tell that it's done um, you just poke a fork on the skin side and if your fork goes through it's pretty much done so then you let it sit there and cool for about 20 minutes okay so while our um, spaghetti squash is cooling we're going to go ahead and make the cheese sauce so first you'll put your butter in melt that down okay so while our spaghetti squash is cooling we're gonna go ahead and make the cheese sauce so I've already put the butter in the two tablespoons of butter and it has melted down you're going to now add your two tablespoons of flour 
and you're going to whisk that together until it's incorporated and constantly whisk until there are no lumps. Then you're going to add your half cup of milk. And you're going to whisk that in until the flour is incorporated in this um, mixture is hot. Okay, now this mixture is pretty thick. I'm going to turn the burner down. See how it moves like that. So you can also, if this is too thick for you, you can also add um, a little more milk. Some milk right here. And I'm going to go ahead and add about a fourth cup more of milk. I always have extra milk just in case. Now you're going to add your spices. Just dump all that in. And you can dump in your cheeses now, or if you want it to be a little thinner than this, you can still add a splash of milk. And then whisk it in. And the dark color is because of the paprika and the cumin. Now we're going to turn it down a little more, the stove. Now we're going to just add our cheeses. And we're just going to continue to mix that in until it's all melted. Okay, so now that our spaghetti squash has been completely cooled, we're going to go ahead and get the spaghetti pieces in. So you're going to take a fork and just kind of comb them out and they come into these strands. Hence the name spaghetti squash. And we're gonna put that all in a bowl. And you wanna be careful because we're gonna save the shells of this. Make sure you get all sides. So this is all the strands from both um, sh um, spaghetti squash halves, and it is a lot of um, spaghetti squash. This is probably about uh, three to four cups of spaghetti of actual spaghetti squash. So you're gonna take your one egg that's already whisked, and you're gonna pour that in there. You want to make sure that your um, sp your actual squash is actually cool, because if you put hot squash with the egg it'll cook the eggs so you don't want to do that and you'll mix that really well and just keep mixing until it's well incorporated okay the egg has been fully incorporated now we're gonna pour in that delicious cheese sauce now I did let my cheese sauce slightly cool but you don't want it to get too cool, otherwise it's going to be kind of hard to mix everything together. I'm just going to go ahead and use the spoon. And you want to mix that in really well. Okay, so we're done mixing our spaghetti squash mac and cheese mixture. Now it's time to put them back into the shells. It's actually up to save on dishes. Just want to plop that in. And you want to fill both halves up. Ooh. Trying to make it even. I'm just kind of spread it out in there. Gently scrape the sides. There we go. 
last but not least, you're gonna add your half cup to even a cup of um, cheese and sprinkle that right on top. Okay, so you bring it back to the oven and pop it on in for 20 minutes. Keep the temperature the same. It can be 25 minutes as well. Okay, the timer has gone off. We put it in for an extra five minutes. Here we go. It's nice and bubbly. The cheese is melted. It's starting to brown on the top. It's awesome. So excited. Now you can't eat it right away. I know it looks really effing awesome, but you can't eat it right now. You have to wait 10 minutes for everything to set. Okay, so our no pasta spaghetti squash mac and cheese is finished and it looks beautiful and it smells just utterly amazing. And here's the creaminess of the cheese coming out. Every single strand is coated and it is just, oh, it's awesome. The steam and the smells coming out, it's wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. It's almost like spaghetti, too. I give some to my cameraman. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Gotta dip on it myself. Make sure you blow on it first. Mmm. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that is good. Yeah, I will not lie to you, it's not pasta or anything, but it is a very good substitute. Squash kind of has a slight sweetness to it when it's cooked because the sugars kind of come out as it cooks and caramelizes a little bit. And it's just, mm. but that mixed with the cheese and the butter and everything else, it's just fabulous, just wonderful. Oh, so good. Mm. Now, actually, one half of these is like two servings, but... Um, it's absolutely wonderful, and your kids are going to absolutely love this because it's going to be so cool. They put it in their fork, and there's actual, like, strands coming out, and there's cheese, and just a really cool, interesting food, different from uh, actual pasta mac and cheese. And your moms are going to like it because now they can get away from having pasta, and they'll actually eat a vegetable they actually like. Oh, man. So excited. Mm. I can't wait for dinner time. But anyway... <laughs> So that's the recipe. Um, thanks so much for tuning in and watching that. I really hope you guys try it. It is just wonderful. Um, you might even end up serving some of this for Thanksgiving too. But it is wonderful. Please give it a try. Please like, share, and subscribe. And check out our Facebook page for all the different recipes I'm making because I'm literally cooking almost every other day. So I'm always posting new pictures out. And leave comments and questions. Let me know what you think. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.